This is Eeanor. We received a distress call. The town is being attacked by birds. The town's residents are in hiding. We need to find and evacuate them. Cassian, report. I'm getting a lot of interference. I thought they'd tear me apart. The town is clear. Go to that barn the survivor told us about. Tell the people they're safe now. Thank you. Thank you. You're our saviors. We're saved. Thank you. Thank you so much. We thought it was the end of us. Bert! Hold the bear! Come on. Come on. You won't take me alive.
get you out. How did you survive? You killed so many monsters! Birds thought you were dead. Couldn't they smell you? And you don't have a scratch on you. You must be immortal! You were born under a lucky star! Come on, it's my duty to bring you to Alienar now! capital in all its beauty. Nothing else like it. Yep, we're lucky. Not every day you meet an immortal. Immortal? Really? <laughs> Why don't you find out? Exhibit. Have some respect. Okay, prep for arrival. Almost there. This is Alinar, the City of the Gods. We are in the Research Center. You will meet with Harita, goddess and advisor of the Immortals. There is no one on Alien more wise and judicious. Well, it was my pleasure. I hope I will be hearing about your glorious feats. Welcome to Alinar. I take it you had a pleasant trip. I am Harida. I will help you settle into your new life. Poor thing. You've had your share of trials. But remember, the darkest hour is just before dawn. New life is a rare privilege. Immortality. It is something we don't yet fully understand. Remember that immortality does not make you a god. You must learn how to use your new powers as well. A great path lies ahead of you. The way is different for every god, so I cannot advise you on yours. Any path is connected to faith one way or another. If you want to become a god, you need to open your heart to the tragedies of ordinary people. Help them selflessly, and you will see that they support you with their faith. Remember to use your new powers wisely and with kindness. But to do that, you must first learn to control them. I know someone who can help you with that. You should talk to Flavius. He is no ordinary god. His vocation is science, but don't let that discourage you. He is a miracle worker in his own way. He is waiting for you. Now go! Every time I hear there's another immortal, I wonder why it isn't me. Do you want to be immortal? Don't you? Just think of it. You get to live forever and enjoy all the privileges it comes with. Don't tell me everyone is equal. You know it isn't true. To bask in glory and have your own order with thousands of followers all over the world. Allow me to toss a wrench into your plans. You forgot the invasions and monsters that you'd have to fight. No, battles are not for me. I'd be like Tice. They say she has never held a weapon in her hands. She needs people to believe that to maintain her image. You think all those benefits are free? You need to earn them first, with blood and sweat. But Thais... Thais is an exception. She is quite an exceptional goddess.
wish I could visit the training hall. It would be nice to feel like an immortal, even if it's just for a few minutes. That might be a good business opportunity, by the way. You only think of money. Not gonna happen. I read somewhere that the training hall isn't safe for mortals. Something about the brainwaves and too much synopsis strain. You could put the risks into the contract, in a small print, and also come up with a tricky insurance scheme. It'll be a gold mine. Just listen to yourself. You sound like some hardcore criminal, when actually, you're up to your eyes in debt. I could be. It's just that my conscience won't let me bring my schemes to life. Oh, rookie! Hello. Liking immortality? Not getting to your head? Oh, my manners. I'm Flavius. I'm trying to advance science here while others are waving their swords. Of course I'm serious. Aside from me, no one's even trying to understand how things work in this world. Oh, right. This is my holographic form. No time to flit about. And there's so many immortals nowadays. Just so much to do. Right, back to business. Well, what are we waiting for? That transport capsule? You're getting in. I'll join you in the training hall. The hall's completely virtual. I've been doing all of our training here, ever since my lab was nearly destroyed. First, you'll need to pick a class. I'll show you how. Pick an available class, and you'll learn its basic abilities. How about that for a miracle of science? Of course. You can always change your class, at any time. In a tricky situation, you have the Argus system to offer you advice. And of course, I invented it. is a melee fighter. Average damage, but high survivability. In a group, they draw the enemy's attention to themselves. They are a simple defense class. They take longer than the Cryomancer to kill an enemy, but die less often. The Cryomancer can cause significant damage from a distance. However, they do not last long in close combat, so they try to avoid it. Their role in a group is to inflict damage. Even new players will have no difficulty playing this class. The Lightbinder attacks from a distance, inflicts less damage than the Cryomancer, but has a higher survivability. This basic support class is important in any group. Their powers are aimed at protecting their teammates. Paladin is a melee fighter. Average damage, but high survivability. In a group, they draw the enemy's attention to themselves. They are a simple defense class. They take longer than the Cryomancer to kill an enemy, but die less often. Remember, you're a Paladin. Use your combo attacks. What you see now is a pack. These enemies are weak on their own, but a group of them can be extremely dangerous. Eliminate them using your area of effectability. Enemies that are strong, but few in number, should be killed one by one. Use abilities that inflict significant damage to a single target. Uh. 
Sometimes you can avoid damage. Take a closer look at the enemy. Some attacks take time to execute. You can evade them. Machine strike, send it out with a bang. everything. Did you like it? I don't normally hand out the divine form. It's not even in this training course, but that was an emergency. Someday, you'll be able to use it without my assistance. In the real world, and not just a virtual space. Oh, it's nothing. Do your best, and the desired results will follow suit. There are many troubles on Aelion, and the most crucial one is invasions. Go fight. Go save lives. Go make friends and gain more followers, and you will eventually become strong enough to take the next step and become a junior god. I am beginning to sound like Karita. That's it for now. You can return to the Divine Observatory or wherever you need to go. You can stay if you like, but I can't promise any more fun.
are you doing? All right. I sent you something. Take a look. Should be useful. Don't thank me. Excellent choice. Each combat school is more than just a set of skills. It is a special path, a philosophy. It is time for you to learn about the mission of Aelion's gods. Come closer to the model of the planet. Listen. Do you hear that? Millions of voices are calling to us for help, begging us to save them. Here in the observatory. Their prayers reach our ears. We are gods, but not only. But it is in our power to save lives, eliminate threats, and offer hope. Go. Aelion is waiting for you. Immortals are needed on Dankit Island. This mission will be your first. Find out what happened. Do whatever is necessary to accomplish that.